In this video, I'm going to take you through how to make a pawn, and then we'll delete some of the pawn and we'll go back and make a knight. And there's a couple different techniques that we'll go through. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete my cube, and then I'm going to create a circle, and it's the mesh circle. It is not the curve circle or any of these NURB circles. So up here on circle. And I'll zoom in on that a little bit. And then we should have, oh, and I just did the, the decimal key on the number pad to kind of zoom in on this because I was having trouble panning. And whenever um, your view gets stuck like that, you can use that decimal key. So next I'm going to go into edit mode, which you can get to through this menu here, or you can click tab, and I'm in edit mode. And I see that I have, I'm in vertex select mode, so I can see little points along this circle. Those are vertices. I can select them. I could also go to edge select, and that'll let me select edges. And I'll try face select. I notice that I'm not, oops, I'm not allowed to select anything, so I actually don't have any faces yet. So I'm going to go back to edge select. I'm going to hold down alt while I right click on the edge and that selects all the way around in a loop and then I'm going to hit the F key on my keyboard and that fills in a face so you can think of it as face or fill. I'm going to go back to face select mode and I'm going to do A to just take a look if I select um, that face that it actually selects. Okay, next I'm going to change my view to front view. Notice that I, I have kind of this weird view of it, and that's because I'm not in ortho mode. So front perspective is what I'm in right now. I'm going to switch to um, ortho using number five, and to get into front I hit number one, by the way, I don't think I said that. And then I'm going to pan, which means hold down shift and hold down your middle mouse button to drag the whole screen down so I have some room to work up above my circle. So this is still a circle. It's just we're looking at it from the edge there. Okay, so I'm going to start doing two commands over and over basically. And those two commands are E to extrude. And I click left clicked to set how far I extruded. I'm going to do that one more time. And then I'm going to do S to scale. And this is going to be the base of my pawn. I'm going to do E to extrude again. And this time I'm going to do S to scale and I'll pull out. So we're making this pawn right here. It's like the castle. And right so far we've pulled up a straight part and gone in and back out. And I'm going to simplify this. This is kind of a rounded part, but I'm going to simplify it into just kind of a more, more of a blocky part. So it'll be straight, straight in here, and then we'll kind of make a, like a uh, slanted line in right here, and then we'll make these little jaggedy things. Okay, so we've done up and out. Now we're going to kind of go in a ways more. Okay, so I'm going to extrude again. Pull up a ways, and we're going to scale in a bit. So I hit S, and I'll pull in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little more and pan down with my shift and middle mouse button. I'll extrude again, pull up a bit more, and then scale in even more on the top here. Hmm, that almost looks like a straight line, doesn't it? Okay, well here's a handy tip. If you want to adjust something that you have um, extruded and sized, but you've already gone on, you can switch into edge select mode. And I'm going to hold down alt, just like I did with the circle originally. I'm going to hold down alt and right click on that edge. And I'm going to S to scale again. And notice that I'm always starting with my mouse away from the center. And then I can pull in and kind of make it more like what I wanted originally. 
Okay, so I'm going to go back to face select mode. And I'm going to make sure, nope, I'm going to make sure my top face is selected again. And then I'll go back into the front view, which is number one on the number pad. Okay, and then if we look at our picture again, so I've kind of gone in and then up, and now I need to come out straight. And that's, there's a little bit of a technique to that. So I'm going to, I call it extrude and go nowhere. So I'm going to extrude and then either hit the escape key or right click. So I could be doing, moving around, whatever, and then I escape and it collapses down. And if you look at it, you can tell that these little face dots that are usually on a face are collapsed right down on that edge. So there actually is, I'll just pull this up so you can see, there actually are faces there. I'm going to control Z that so it collapses back down. And we can use that to our advantage because we're going to scale those faces out, like straight out from that edge. I'm going to go back into number one front view and I'm going to hit S to scale again. It's always E and S and I'm going to pull out and you can see we have added just a little bit of an edge there and then I can extrude up. I'll go back into my front view again. Now we can see we have that little ledge and I'll do that again. Same process to add the next little ledge. Where did that go? Right here we have two little ledges and I'm just going to extrude up to here this high and then we'll do the kind of castle pieces uh, after that. Okay, so extrude and go nowhere by either right clicking or hitting escape. S to scale and then we can extrude again and there's that next piece. Okay. And then I'm going to do that one last time. So I'm going to E to extrude, hit escape. I'm going to, I'm going to do this so you can see what's happening here. I'm going to S to scale. And this time I'm going to pull in. And this is what makes faces that we can select to pull up to, or extrude really, to make those castle kind of ramparts or whatever they're called. So I'm just going to hold down shift as I select, um, every third, well, three, skip one, three, skip one. It works out nicely. You could also do every other one if you wanted to. Okay, and then I've noticed that I still have my center selected. So I'm going to hold down shift and click that to unselect that because I don't want that to extrude up when I extrude these. Once I have all my selections, I'm going to do E to extrude again, pull straight up, and there's my castle. So I'm in ortho, so it kind of, everything kind of looks weird. I'm going to get out of ortho and here's, there it looks a little better. Next up, I'll show you how to start from the same kind of base, but use a background image to really accurately trace the outline of a shape. And we're going to do the night and there's a couple special, um, techniques that I'll show you that make it easier to do that kind of offset um, not symmetrical shape that it has.